Hello, my name is of course Councillor Graham Campbell and this is Long Overdue Vlog 31 on Wednesday the 26th of February 2020, South Lanarkshire's Council Budget Setting Day for the financial year ahead 2020. 2021. This particular budget setting process was always going to be a little bit different than the previous budget setting processes because this year the Westminster government have still not set the UK wide budget and therefore the Scottish government in Holyrood have been unable to set the Scottish budget leaving the 32 councils across Scotland just like South Lanarkshire making a number of assumptions and taking advice from COSLA when setting their budget for the financial year ahead. I realise that I've said this before many times but the council budget setting process for the next financial year started months ago with resource directors and their senior management staff across education, social work, enterprise and community etc looking at what efficiency savings they want to make in the next year's budget. These are then brought via papers to the elected members across all political groups in what we know as elected member briefing sessions. It is then up to each of the elected members within their political groups to look at and therefore scrutinise all of these efficiency savings and consider what they are prepared to accept and not as the case may be. You will no doubt have read and seen in the press this week that both Glasgow and Edinburgh City Councils have raised their council tax for the financial year 2020 to 2021 by nearly 5% and of course being a Conservative there was no way that was ever going to be acceptable to myself here in South Lanarkshire. You may also have read and seen in the press over recent weeks that South Lanarkshire Council is currently underspent to the tune of nearly 14 million in the current financial year and as a result I've been asking myself why do we need to raise council tax at all next financial year if South Lanarkshire haven't spent what they've been given or should I say raised in tax over this year and this is where politics begins to play its part in the budget setting process for the next financial year as you will imagine each of the political parties and groups have their own set ideas about what they believe the council's money should be spent next year. In the Conservative group our focus as usual is roads, the environment and education. And finally the big one council tax. As I said earlier raising council tax was going to be unacceptable to ourselves but very quickly during the budget negotiating process we realised that the other groups had differing ideas. The SNP group one of three percent and I had seen Labour supported potentially by the independents and Lib Dems looking to increase council tax to Glasgow and Edinburgh levels of nearly five percent so we had to find a compromise somewhere. With each of the political groups having their own set ideas there was going to have to be a compromise somewhere and I'm delighted to report that over the last few days all of the group leadership across each of the political groups in South Lanarkshire have met have come together and they have managed to produce a consensus budget that we all believe while still a compromise is in the best interest of everyone living in South Lanarkshire. I am however sorry to report folks that your council tax for 2020-2021 is going to rise by 3% in South Lanarkshire. It could have been a lot worse as I've said previously we could have ended up increasing it to Glasgow and Edinburgh levels but here in South Lanarkshire is going to sit at 3% so just above the UK retail price index. So as I bring this vlog to a close I would like to thank each of the group leaders across South Lanarkshire for their dedication and hard work in bringing this compromised consensus budget to a successful conclusion in the council chamber today. Of course being a member of the Conservative group I would like to thank our group leader Councillor Alex Allison, his deputy leader Councillor Colin McGavigan and of course our fantastic business manager Councillor Richard Nelson for their hard work and dedication in bringing our thoughts and our ideas to the consensus budget that was successfully passed in council this morning. The last 12 months have probably been the busiest of my council career so far and I've no doubt the next two years, the last two years of this council term will get any easier. It has however been my pleasure to serve the good people of South Lanarkshire Ward 5 Avondale since 2007. My name is of course Councillor Graham Campbell. Thank you for watching.